Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods, a finite difference approach. And in this approach, in the last lectures, we have discussed one dimensional parabolic equations and their solution methods. And in the present lecture, we will just go for this parabolic equations in two dimensional or two dimensions and uh, we can just use like explicit method, implicit method or like semi implicit method uh, uh, that is uh, crank Nicholson's method to find the solutions. So, if you will just go for this uh, parabolic equations in two dimensional, then this equation can be written in the form like del u by del t, this equals to del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square, where we will have this uh, boundary that is just defined within this region like x lies between 0 to a and y lies between 0 to b. So, if you will just see here, this is a two dimensional problem means we will have uh, like uh, three coordinates here. So, one is x coordinate, another one is y coordinate and uh, another one is a t coordinate here or time coordinate here. But especially since space coordinates, we are just varying in the x direction and y direction. So, that is why it is called uh, the parabolic equation in two dimensions. And if you will just uh, deal such type of equations, so we need the boundary conditions at uh, two boundaries. That is especially if we can just define the boundary in the form like x equals to 0 to x equals to a here, then y equals to 0 to y equals to b here, then we will have a third increment that is in the form of t there. So, especially we can just move in the x direction that is incremented with the space length or this grid size del x here and if we want to move in the y direction, we should have to consider this is grid size as a del y there. And if we want to move to the next approach from the initial approach or this initial steps to the next time step level, we have to move this time step in the direction of del t there. So, for this problem especially since we need like three conditions here. So, first condition is it can be prescribed u of x y 0, this equals to g of x y at t equals to 0 that is initially this condition should be provided at each of the grid points. Then some kind of boundary conditions so that is prescribed at x equals to 0 and x equals to a. Then some kind of boundary conditions so we should have to know at y equals to 0 and y equals to b. Suppose in this problem Dirichlet conditions are prescribed at all these sides. This means that u is specified or u is given at all of these boundaries. To solve this above problem, if you will just go for the solution method, first we have to subdivide these intervals x lies between 0 to a and y lies between 0 to b into m sub intervals in the x direction and n sub intervals in the y direction. And each is of width del x in the x direction and del y in the y direction. Hence, we, since we are just considering here m subdivisions in the x direction, so that is why you can just write this total length that is nothing but m del x, this can be defined as like a minus 0 as a there. And if you just go for y direction here, the total length it can be defined as b equals to or b minus 0, this can be defined as n del y here. Since each grade space length is del y in the y direction here. So, if you we want to see here, then we can just uh, find that uh, these three directions it is just represented in the graphical sense here. So, x just represent in the like um, horizontal direction here and y is the vertical direction and uh, sorry, y is in the like plane section direction here and uh, t is the vertical direction here. Since uh, we are just denoting this uh, subdivision of uh, x axis as the i substitute. So, that is why we can just write this as x i here and uh, your starting point here it will be x 0 equals to 0 and last point it will be x m equals to a here. And on the y axis since we are just denoting here the j coordinates if you just see. So, that is why your starting coordinate here y 0 equals to 0 here and last point y n equals to b there. And we shall compute all the unknowns that is placed on these grids here. 
for uh, like variation of uh, i equals to 1 to m minus 1 and j equals to 1 to n minus 1 for different t values. So, assume that uh, you are uh, known to us at the kth time level. So, if kth level values are known this means that uh, if the boundary values are known to us then the next immediate level we can just proceed by considering this uh, your boundary level values for the next uh, iterator level calculations. So, if suppose k equals to 0 suppose here initial level then all values are known to us along the first boundary there. And further increments it can be calculated with the time as a increment that is in the form of t equals to k del t here. Since in the first step we can just consider t equals to 0, then the second step we can just consider t 1 equals to del t, then third step we can just consider that as a, a t 2 equals to 2 del t. So, likewise we can just move. So, this is the figure which shows uh, all this uh, time domain and also this uh, uh, space grids that is formulated in the x and y coordinates. So, if you just go for the solution in explicit method here and uh, if we want to discretize this equation del u by del t equals to del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square at the mass point i j k here since x represents the ith coordinate here and y axis represents the jth coordinate here and k represents the time level. And if you just approximate this time derivative by a forward difference approach and a space derivative by central difference approximations here, then we can just write this del u by del t term since there is a time variation. So, we can just consider there is a variation in the k here. So, that is why we are just writing u i j at that particular grid point since in the space coordinate if you just see i j is the coordinate there and time means it is just a it is just a, in the upper uh, level it is just moving there. So, that is why we can just consider this uh, space grid size is fixed there. So, that is why we are just writing u i j to the power k plus 1 minus u i j power of k. See, since this k plus 1 represents this uh, velocities or this uh, temperature at the time level 1 there if you will just consider k equals to 0 there. And if you just consider like u i j 0 means it is it is uh, can be uh, taken from this initial conditions. And uh, that is why it is just written in the form of u i j to the power k plus 1 minus u i j to the power k by del t. And the order of approximation already we have discussed that it will just uh, consider as order of del t here first order approximation it will just take since we are just considering here this forward difference approximation. And if you will just go for this uh, space coordinates here in the x direction, we can just write this uh, central difference approximation at kth level as u i minus 1 j k minus 2 u i j k and then u i plus 1 j k here by del x square and its order of approximation is a uh, order of 2. So, that is why it is just written as order of x square here. And if you just go for like del square u by del i square term. So, then we can just uh, uh, take the central difference scheme at i j coordinate. So, it will just consider one step backward and one step forward there. So, that is why it is just considering j minus 1 point and j plus 1 together with a j point there. So, it is order of approximation it is just uh, it is has considered also second order of approximation. So, that is why this uh, higher order terms it can just uh, occupied with this uh, power of order 2 afterwards. So, if you just neglect this say higher powers of uh, x and higher powers of uh, y that is in the form of del x and del y and also this first order term of uh, del t, then we can obtain this expansion as u i j power k plus 1 this equals to u i j power k plus del t since we are just writing u i j to the power k plus 1 minus u i j by del t. So, that is why del t can be multiplied in the right hand side and u i j can be taken to the right hand side. Since, if you will just see right hand side we are just keeping all of this known values there. And uh, i is varying from uh, 1 to m minus 1 and j is varying from 1 to n minus 1 there. So, if we will just uh, use this formula at k plus 1th level, then the scheme will be stable whenever we will have del t into 1 by del x square plus 1 by del y square it should be less or equal to half. Since already we have discussed that 
explicit scheme is stable whenever we will have like del t by del x square it should be less or equal to half. Since uh, uh, for uh, like one dimensional sense especially we are just uh, writing our one dimensional problem especially we are just writing del t by del x square it should be less or equal to half for stability of uh, this explicit scheme. So, that is why when it is extended to two dimensional sense here since uh, two coordinates are involved like uh, del t by del x square and uh, del t by del y square. So, we can just consider so both these values sum should be less or equal to half here. So, if in a particular sense we will just consider like del x equals to del y equal grid space or equal grid length here then we can just uh, find that u i j to the power k plus 1 it can be written as since a uh, u i j to the power k it is uh, present here u i j to the power k present here u i j to the power k present here. So, that is why it can just uh, considered here as uh, 1 minus uh, 4 r into u i j to the power k here since uh, r is uh, defined as a uh, del t by del x square here. And uh, if you will just write this uh, uh, like uh, i minus 1 and i plus 1 terms here. So, that can be written in the form of r into u i minus 1 j k plus u i plus 1 j k here. And if you will just write like uh, j space coordinates j minus 1 and j plus 1. So, it can be written as r into u i j minus 1 plus u i j plus 1 k here. So, for the further uh, computation if you will just implement crank Nicholson scheme for this two dimensional uh, parabolic equations, then we have to discretize this uh, equation at the mesh point i j k plus half since we are just considering half of the time level there and then we are just taking the average. So, if we will just approximate this time derivative by central difference and space derivatives by average of uh, second derivatives at kth level and k plus 1th level by replacing the central difference that is especially if you will just write here del u by del t at the grid point i j k plus half. So, this will just uh, give you this uh, u discretization at k plus 1th level minus u at the kth level divided by your 2 del t. So, and uh, the space coordinate if you will just uh, see here i j k plus half here. So, if you will just uh, take this averages at the grid points i j k and i j k plus 1 especially we can just average the space coordinates in x and y direction there. So, if you will just uh, consider this uh, central difference for a uh, time derivative here. So, then it can just uh, represented u i j at k plus 1th level minus u i j at kth level divided by del t. And, uh, since it just uh, takes uh, this central difference approximations. So, this uh, order of approximation for uh, like a space coordinate it you can just consider order of del x square plus order of uh, del y square here. So, that is why this average schemes it can be considered as a half into u i j uh, u i minus 1 j k minus 2 u i j k plus u i plus 1 j k divided by del x square plus u i j minus 1 k minus 2 u i j k plus u i j plus 1 k here by del y square. So, this is especially if you will just see we are just considering this one in the uh, kth level here and if you will just see all these points we are just approximating at k plus 1th level here and this order of approximation especially it is just considered in the form of like order of del x square plus order of del y square here. So, if you will just neglect this truncation error, we can just write the above equation that is minus del t since if you will just see here we want to separate this k plus 1 terms to the uh, left hand side and kth term to the right hand side since uh, kth level values are known to us. So, that is why we want to keep kept that one in the right hand side here. And uh, if you will just see here, so some of these values uh, that is uh, u i minus 1 coordinate values and uh, i th coordinate values and i plus 1th coordinate values all are unknown in the k plus 1th level. And some of these coordinates if you will just see j minus 1 and j plus 1 this is also unknown values here. And uh, especially if you will just see here that is a 2 ui j k plus 1 and 
almost here it is also occurring like minus 2 u i j k plus 1 and minus 2 a u i j k plus 1. We can just uh, separate it out and we can just write in a combined form as if del x equals to del y since uh, we are just considering here uniform grid sizes. So, this means that whatever this uh, grid length we are just considering in the x direction the same grid space we are just considering in the y direction here. So, after putting all these values we can just uh, find that minus r u i minus 1 j k plus 1 plus u i plus 1 j k plus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 2 r since it is like 4 terms that is present in the form of u i j to the power k plus 1 here. And if you just see here one term that is just represented here 2 u i j k plus 1 without the multiplication of r term which is defined as del t by del x square here. So, that is why this say 2 is a present here and minus r u i j minus 1 k plus 1 plus u i j plus 1 k plus 1 here. And the right hand side all the known terms that is in the power of k all are present here only. So, if you just uh, vary this uh, values from i equals to 1 to m minus 1 and j equals to 1 to n minus 1. So, we can have like m minus 1 into n minus 1 system of equations and each time step we have to solve this m minus 1 cross n minus 1 system of equations while the scheme should be stable. And for the stability of the scheme we should have to choose that del t and uh, del t into 1 by del x square plus 1 by del y square it should not be restricted with any value for the crank nicholson scheme. Since already we have defined that for the uh, explicit approach this should be less or equal to half there. And if you will just go for the solution of parabolic equation, uh, so with a specified boundary condition suppose uh, if we are just considering here as uh, del u by del t equals to del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square where x is lying between 0 to 1 and y is lying between 0 to 1 for t greater than 0. With the initial condition, initial condition means we are just prescribing all of the space coordinate values at t equals to 0 point that is especially defined as x plus y here. And the boundary conditions are imposed for t greater than 0 since the boundary is fixed and it will not change with respect to time. So, that is why it is just uh, written as t greater than 0 here and which is defined as uh, in the space coordinates in the x direction at x equals to 0 this normal derivative or del u by del x equals to u here and uh, at the last boundary that is x equals to 1 we are just choosing u of 1 y t this equals to 1 here. And for y equals to 0, it is just given that u of x 0 t that is h 1 here and uh, the derivative condition that is del u by del y at the last boundary that is just considered as a minus u there. And uh, it is uh, asked that uh, find the solution using explicit method for only two time steps taking del x equals to del y this equals to 0 0.25 with time increment del t as 0 0.01 and uh, approximate the derivative boundary condition by forward and uh, backward differences as required. Since already we have uh, shown that whenever we are using this uh, derivative boundary conditions at this uh, initial boundaries or at the first boundary we are using forward difference approximations and at the last boundary if you are just using then we are just using this backward difference approximations. And uh, if this equation is uh, just uh, given with these conditions then we can just have formatted uh, in a manner that uh, at best it can require one more extra condition or a fictitious boundary at the last boundary since at uh, y it is just given as a del u by del y equals to minus u at y equals to 1 and at the first boundary it is just given a derivative boundary condition at x equals to 0 that is as a del u by del x equals to u. So, that is why at these points if you will just use like central difference approximations it requires a extra fictitious uh, grid space for the calculation. So, if you will just write all these boundary conditions in a compacted form so it can be written as uh, like uh, del u by del x at uh, 0 y t as u and u of 1 y t equals to 1 and u of x 0 t this is as, uh, 1 here since x 0 t means say uh, at uh, uh, y equals to 0 we are just considering this boundary here. And if you just consider like um, uh, x equals to uh, uh, 1 here that is nothing but we are just considering a 
sorry this is x equals to 1 if you are just considering this is as 1 here and if it is considered as y equals to 1 here we are just considering this is minus u here and uh, the space length that is considered as a del x here which is defined as a 0 0.25 here and del y is the space length or the grid space which is a considered in the y direction as a 0 0.25 here also. So, if you will just proceed with these values then this formulation can be written as like for del x equals to del y since uniform grid size already it is given in the problem then this explicit method can be written as u i j to the power k plus 1 this as minus uh, sorry r u i minus 1 uh, j k plus u i plus 1 j k plus 1 minus 4 r u i j k plus r into uh, u i u i j minus 1 k plus u i j plus 1 k here where r is defined as a del t by del x square and we have to keep it in mind that whenever this r value should be less or equal to half then the system will provide us a solution here for this explicit scheme. And for this if you will just find this r value here r can be written as a del t by del x square. So, which is defined as a 0 0.01 by 0 0.25 whole square that is nothing but 0 0.16. And if you will just use these values, so we can just get this value as a, like u i j to the power k plus 1 that is defined as a here 0 0.16 since it is less or equal to half you can just say. So, that is why we can just use uh, this is um, uh, explicit approach uh, to get the solutions. So, after putting all these values like uh, r values, so we are just uh, reducing this equation in this form here. And uh, since the question is given like uh, two steps we have to move here. So, i is varying from uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 since uh, one more boundary it is required in the j direction also. So, j is varying from 1, 2, 3 here. So, for i equals to 0, if you will just use like forward difference uh, along the boundary, we will have like u n j minus u 0 j at k plus 1 th level by del x, this is just defined at u 0 j at k plus 1 th level. Since the boundary initial boundary condition, uh, it is not provided exactly at the point u 0 j. So, u 0 j can be taken this value as in the form of uh, like 0 0.8 u 1 j to the power k plus 1 here. If you will just see here that is uh, this uh, equation is separated in the form like um, since del x is first multiplied with here. So, we can just write as uh, u 0 j k plus 1 that is del x plus 1. So, this equals to especially u 1 j k plus 1 here. So, that is why this uh, if you will just uh, divide this one as uh, del x plus 1 here. So, del x is defined as uh, 0 0.25 here. So, 0 0.25, so 1.25, so 1 by 1.25 that is not especially 0 0.8 here. So, that is why it is just written as uh, u 0 j to the power k plus 1, this is 0 0.8 u 1 j k plus 1 here. And uh, this value will be updated from this uh, like uh, the uh, value that has been considered as uh, u 1 j to the power k plus 1 here. And especially whenever uh, u 1 j will be computed by considering suppose the last boundary here and that value will be taken in the proceeding manner and it can be updated with this value for this value here. And for j equals to 4 using backward difference for boundary condition we can have like u i 4 to the power k plus 1 minus u i 3 k plus 1 here by del x this can be written as minus u i 4 to the power k plus 1 here and u i 4 to the power k plus 1 this can be also written as 0 0.8 and u i 3 to the power k plus 1. Same thing also here this boundary value this can taken the uh, like inside computed value and it can be updated in each of the time steps and it can be used in the computation process. So, if you will just uh, consider this value like uh, for all these uh, boundary values that is for u 4 j k plus 1 especially if you will just see here that is nothing but we are just fixing this last boundary as uh, i equals to 4 here and j is varying like uh, j equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 especially we are just varying and all of these values we will have this boundary condition as uh, 1 there. And especially if you will just uh, see here the same condition for uh, like y equals to 
zero here. So we are also fixing this same boundary condition along this boundary here. So that's why this boundary condition values are written in the form of u for j k plus one this equals to one equals to u i zero k plus one for all time steps and i j are varying from zero one two three four there. And if you'll just use this initial condition like u of x y zero as x plus y for t equals to zero we can just uh, get since uh, if you will just see here i is marching as in the form of uh, here as a 0 1 2 3 4 and j is also marching here 0 1 2 3 4 and especially the values for uh, uh, y is uh, prescribed as like 1.0 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 0.25 and 0 here and uh, the values are given as uh, like if you will just see here like x it is just prescribed as uh, like 0 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1 here. And if you will just consider like uh, all of these coordinates here, like u of uh, 1, 1 coordinate suppose, if I will just consider here. So then it can be written as like x1 plus y1 here. So all of these values that is just prescribed that is just written in the summing form over here. This means that if you will just consider like i equals to 0 and j equals to 0, the values are here like 0, 0.0 and this is also 0, 0.0 here. And uh, if you will just uh, compute all these values at uh, time step t equals to 0 here especially and put all these values then we can just uh, obtain this tabular values in this form here. Since uh, this is nothing but a sum of x and y we are just considering. So whatever this values x and y it is just uh, given here that has been computed in the terms of u and it is just uh, putting in the table here. So, once uh, this table has been formulated, so that just uh, given us uh, this uh, u coordinates or uh, the u values at each of these grid points. So then we can just use this uh, grid points values for the further calculation of uh, the values. So for i equals to 1, if you just write this scheme can be written in the form of u and j k plus 1, this can be written as 0 0.16 into u 0 j k plus u 2 j k plus 0 0.36 u 1 j k plus 0 0.16 u 1 j minus 1 k plus u 1 j plus 1 k here. So especially if you will just see here the scheme, so that is uh, nothing but uh, it is just written as uh, like u i j to the power k plus 1, it can be written as 0 0.16. Since only this coordinate values we are just uh, putting here like i equals to 1 or i equals to 2 or i equals to 3 or i equals to 4 and j is varying like 1, 2, 3, 4 there. So if you will just put all these values then for i equals to 1, 2, 3 here we can just obtain this expansion of this equation as in the form of u1 j, u2 j and u3 j here. And if you will just go for the solution of these three equations for j equals to 1, 2, 3 then we can get the required solutions as like for uh, uh, u4j since these are all boundary conditions so it is already fixed. So for all time steps if you will just vary here like ij equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So for t equals to like 0 0.01 here since we are just moving to the next time step and k plus 1th level we are just calculating all these values. So in this step if you will just put all these values then we can just get these values are in this form here. So for different levels if you will just see this represents these values of u at t equals to del t level that is 0 0.01th level and these values can be used for the further or the next step of calculation of u values for j and i coordinates. So, if we'll just use this previous values at t equals to 0 0.01, we get the solution for next time steps that is in the form like t equals to 0 0.02. So i is varying from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here and j is varying from like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So the values are coming since this boundary values that are already fixed here. So only this inner values it has been calculated. So based on this previous table values and using this formulation. So we are not uh, changing anything there. Thank you for listening this lecture.